Hello friends, Lulu the Library Lady here. Let's see what adventure the library has for us today. Today's story time adventure is The Bernstein Bears Harvest Festival by Mike Bernstein. It was a beautiful autumn day in bear country. The first frosty nip was in the air and the whole bear family was outside enjoying the bright fall weather. Papa was raking leaves into piles so the cubs could jump in, laughing and shouting. Mama was cutting back the late flowers in her garden so they would bloom better next year. I love fall, sighed Mama. I think it's the most wonderful season of the year. It's so bright and colorful. Just like these leaves, said sister, tossing up an armful. Hey, said brother and honey as the leaves fell on their heads. Fall is a special time, agreed Papa. You might say it's when mother nature puts on her best clothes and dishes up her finest food. The squirrels and chipmunks certainly think so, said sister pointing them out as they scampered about the lawn, gathering acorns to store for the winter. Yes, they are enjoying a fine harvest, said Papa. And speaking of harvests, added Mama, I saw in the newspaper that the chapel in the woods is holding a harvest festival at Farmer Ben's farm today. That sounds sounded like fun to the whole bear family. Can we go, brother asked. Of course we can, said Mama, putting away her gardening things. May we go now, asked sister. No time like the present, said Papa, putting away his rake. Yay, cried the cubs. I'll bet there's a hayride, said brother. I hope there's pumpkin picking, said sister. Pumpkin pie, said honey. Yum. Farmer Ben was their neighbor, so the family strolled down the sunny dirt road to his farm. As they walked, they enjoyed the sights, sounds, and smells of autumn. A buck with a fine set of antlers stepped out of the woods to stare at them. A fuzzy caterpillar was spinning his cozy cocoon on a nearby branch. Overhead, a V of geese was honking its way south, and turkeys gobbled in the roadside thickets. The rich smell of fallen leaves was stirred up as they walked, and there was a whiff of wood smoke on the breeze. Would you say Mother Nature is putting on a good show for us? Said brother, kicking up a drift of leaves. Well, said Mama, pointing to the heavens, you know Mother Nature works for someone a bit higher up. Yes, agreed Papa. And harvest time is about much more than just enjoying the season. It is a time to give thanks to God for all his blessings, for the food that grows in his good, rich earth, and for the wonders of nature 
that he has created. Looking around the peaceful autumn scene, the cubs could see just what Mama and Papa meant. They certainly were blessed. As they arrived at the farm, they greeted Farmer and Mrs. Ben, along with Preacher Brown and all their friends from the chapel in the woods. Some of the farm's ripe crops were gathered together in a beautiful display. Shucks of yellow corn, bales of hay, baskets of bright fruit, and heaps of autumn vegetables. And much to Honey's delight, there was a batch of Mrs. Ben's tasty pumpkin pies. Come on, everyone, Farmer Ben called. Our first harvest festival event is about to begin. It's apple picking time here on the farm. Let's see how many bushels of apples you can gather. So the whole chapel in the woods family marched into the apple orchard and climbed ladders to reach the red ripe apples. The cubs tried to outdo each other. They picked and picked and picked. These apples will make lovely apple pies, said Mama. Good job, cubs, said Farmer Ben when he saw their full baskets. I'm about ready to hire you on as pickers. Would you like to try your hands at pumpkin picking too? asked Farmer Ben. That's my favorite, said Sister. So they headed down to the pumpkin patch to look for the roundest, orangest pumpkins. All the cubs searched and searched. Too lumpy, said Brother, looking one pumpkin over. Too lopsided, said Sister, holding up another. Too little, said Honey, picking up a teeny baby pumpkin. Then they spotted their perfect pumpkins, three nice big round orange beauties. Just right, said Brother. Just right, said Sister. Right, said Honey. The next event, announced Farmer Ben, is the hayride. I told you there'd be a hayride, said Brother. A hayride at a harvest festival, said Sister, teasing Brother a bit. What a surprise. But before Brother could reply, Farmer Ben pulled up with a long hay wagon hitched to his tractor. Everyone climbed aboard and sat on bales of hay. It was scratchy and prickly, but smelled sweet. All aboard, called Farmer Ben, and they were off. With many a bump and sway, they chugged along they drove through the farmyard and saw the farm animals having their evening meal. They drove past the farm pond and saw the ducks, geese, and swans enjoying an evening bath. They drove into the fields and pastures among the corn shocks and haystocks. They said hello to a friendly scarecrow. The sun was setting over the hills and all bare country was lit with a golden hue.
It was growing dark and the hay wagon returned to the farmyard. Mrs. Ben and her helpers were cooking dinner over a crackling fire. It smelled wonderful. Soon all the families and friends were sitting down to a magnificent harvest feast. Preacher Brown, said Farmer Ben, would you say grace? Preacher Brown rose and opened his Bible. God tells us to celebrate the festival of harvest with the first fruits of the crops you sow in your field, he read. And as the people of God did so long ago, he added, we still do today. Thank you, Lord, for giving us good food from farm and field and for the joy of working together in the harvest time. Amen. Amen to that, Preacher Brown said Mrs. Ben, and now let's all have the joy of working together to eat all this good food. Dig in, folks, and dig in they did. The end.